Bruce, what, what happened? Dude, that's Bruce's kid all day long. What, 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 wait, what, the, wait a minute. This is how we should have banded him. <laughs> Buddy, what happened here? He's staying pretty cool about it. He's not hurt everybody, calm down. <laughs> you guys know this guy? Shannon and I were just coming outside for a good old normal morning feeding, and then this dude showed up. That's Chad, Doss Farms, big brother. What's going on? It's always nice to have a visit from him, <laughs> except the animals get a little extra hyper and somebody is in timeout, and I blame Chad. It's all Chad's fault. Daddy scream at you. <laughs> he got in trouble. He was trying to eat one of the goatlets. Yeah, that goat take your treat. What the heck, man? I got in trouble. Hey, did you get your new phone? I did. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Some jerk totally intercepted mine up at the gate and pretended to sign as me. Hey, he said Kyle so, Doss. I could have said no and sent him on his way. Yeah, you probably did the right thing. I would have cried. Because Shannon got hers yesterday. I did. You know, as content creators, believe it or not, your phone is really your best tool. And it's one of our most critical tools. So, uh... The new iPhone's out. That's, you know, nobody cares. But we all got one. And Shannon and Chad got theirs before I got mine. And so did Dad. What the heck? I had to wait till today. How are you? Hanging out at Shady Acres. All their kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many pairs you got banded? You got all boys. We have all boys. We've got two sets in bands and two sets destined for bands. Yeah. Slayer Bear. If we know Bruce can do the job, I'm just not sure that Ginger and Oreo have let him do it yet. I think everybody's afraid that we're getting ready to send one of them away. Because anytime a stranger comes or I pick them up, they're like, oh crud, we're going away. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Good, good luck, luck petting her. her. Well, the last time we hung out, I pulled her out of the trailer <laughs> and brought her over here. That's a valid point. And I will tell you, her and her boys don't forget things. Yep. Are you hungry, Mama? Blue. You want me to get you Come some on, food? Man. Yeah. I know your sister. Your friends. Oreo's all over me. <laughs> Here's the difference though. Her boys, we've held, coddled, loved them. They are a hundred percent different, which we are very thankful for. Yeah, this one's on my hip. Yeah, last time I got picked up, things went in a band. <laughs> oh snap. It's not you. It's not yours. What's up, Coop? Alright, so tell me where to put feet. Okay. You have wasp spray on the shelf? I have wasp spray, <laughs> spray in every crevice you could imagine. Oh yeah, Does I do. surprise you, really? Right there. I usually it's, was, it's, I kept mean, some over there. You should see how many cans I have in my truck. It doesn't surprise me that he has wasp spray <laughs> on the shelf. It, I'd say that it surprises me that he has wasp spray randomly located. The shelf doesn't surprise me. Well, they, this is this is my seam. This is where they all come and go. And then down here, there's a hole right there that we've stuffed stuff in, but it won't stay in there because her keeps pulling it out and then I get more wasps. Gotcha. Golly, mama. We'll get you some food, honey. It's coming. You just, I know, we're starving you. Everybody on YouTube thinks you're literally starving. All Look right. at you. You ain't starving. You're far from it. In the tray? Yep, that one. <laughs> yeah, the fake out is necessary. Bobbed when you should have waved. They've gotten really good, honestly, at knowing that that's where they go. The boys go in there with them. You gotta be patient. Gotta wait for it. Mario Little, Oh, that's a little Koopa. Hey, Bruce, 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 Bruce. <laughs> Bruce and her. There's nothing even in it yet. Hang on. It actually makes me happy that you have to deal with him at the goatlet. Yep. Because it's all your fault. I'm curious to see how far the jeans run when he gets a little bigger. Like, I know he's banded, but I don't think the huevos is what makes Bruce Bruce. I, you know, he because definitely carries a little additional personality compared to the rest of them without any assistance. I know. Because Bruce... As far as a male goes, he's not like Mario. I know. He's not Andre in a sense he's trying to humpy dumpy everything. <laughs> he's just Andre. Like does he try to hit your fence or your pose? No, or, not at all. He or really you? Doesn't. We're trying to feed. Chad's trying to help. 
But this is rip. This is a dick. This is Bruce. That's Bruce, man. Just screaming for no reason. He is our most talkative goat. Yep. Mama's pretty loud until she gets food. But other than that, she quiets down. This guy just keeps going until he gets food. Yep. Or if mama's around, then he starts talking. Okay. What we got? Spruce and Luigi. Spruce and Luigi. Okay, so that one goes in there. You want spruce and weeds? Yep. In there? Now, what you got? Now, these go in opposite feeders on either side. Come on, bub. Opposite feeders? Yeah, you go in that one over there. I go in this one over here. Larry, bud. Let's go get your blue screw food. He eats like his dad. Don't Fast need, and all don't of even it. Don't need teeth. Go on, bubba. Over there. Did bread. you pour it? Larry, that's you. That's you, buddy. You hear it. He's definitely got his mom's home, Versus curl like a ram or something. Do you ever see her anymore? No. So you time. saw her while she was pregnant. She stayed around and then had baby going. Yep. And like we mentioned, the donkeys actually cleaned up the afterbirth. Really? Yeah. We found the next morning, you guys already had spruce, but the next morning, one of the babies was up at the hydrant pallet fort thing that keeps the cows yep. discretion. And the yeah. other one was under the greenhouse and mama was nowhere to be found. Dang. The third one, of course, had already gone to a, a live oak ranch. Yes. But... Hey, uh, just so you know, you're scaring Blue. Scaring Blue? Yeah, she kind of skittish. So she should be over here eating with the boys, but she's not. Honey, your food's over here in the feeder. I could let Herc out. He'll run you over to it. Here, you go. I'll stay here. Yeah, you go on over and eat. That a girl. Believe it or not, she is coming around. Just yesterday, we saw her up here on the Herc Hut with Herc and her boys, and Herc decided to get up, sniff her, do a little nibble on her back thing, and she actually stood still and let him do it. Can't say that's always how it goes, because 90% of the other time, he's running her down there. But we've been told it can take like a year or two for some goat acclimation. I feel like we got two to four years on us with Luke. Oh, she went over to eat, good. Yeah, I had to get Chad out of the way. It was all his fault. I think she got beard envy. <laughs> She's got a pretty good beard, though. Guys, come on. Come on. Spruce, come on. Go over there with your boys. Does she eat the food in the tall feeder? No, not yet. She's the only one that can reach it. Harry. Harry, come here, bub. Look here. Blue. Hey. There we go. I'll help you out here, little guy. Oh, don't drop it. You're actually uh, getting a lot closer than most people do through the fence. Yeah. Well, they smell like we see. Yeah. So he knows I'm okay, but yeah. I well, if I was over there and he was over there, it'd be different. We had everybody out yesterday, all the goats, him, the birds, everybody. And UPS showed up with Shannon's phone mm -hmm. and I was inside for a half second. I was a little nervous. But I think he hears the UPS truck a lot because we have a lot of stuff delivered here. And he was actually really good. Yeah. But he's inside his pen. It's a different story. And today we're grounded because we uh, got a little too over anxious for one of the goatlets, didn't we, Bubba? Yeah. Well, they, from what I saw where he was nipping, that's a I'm in charge thing. You're just establishing your dominance, he big guy. He was just going to put it to the ground and let it know whatever it did wasn't okay. That's, that's a happened. good boy. Smell Cabela. <laughs> he says I smell everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm here, bud. Show him the teeth. Show him the teeth. Oh, oh it's a big scary. <laughs> it's a big scary. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> no shortage of curiosity in these two. When you weigh what I weigh, you need that. Because when you bend it's over, your belly in the way. Put your shoes on. Oh, scoop them. They're pretty jumpy. Do they realize that it's just powder? There's literally nothing in there. Oh, you gotta lick the bowl. Gotta lick it clean. Well, here we go. Tell them. Tell them, Mama. I actually closed them all this time. Who are we missing, Blue? Come She's coming. There's Blue. <laughs> There's Blue. Come on, 
you notice how the little ones chase? Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. They're gonna get banded as soon as they can. Yeah, there's a lot of genetics in those two that uh, we may have sent Mario off the farm, but his mentality stick around. So does Bruce ever stop eating because Spruce eats nonstop? All the time. Only when I take food from him. Oh, when you take food from him. you have hay down, does he just go to town and nonstop? Yes. These guys will all be sleeping or napping or whatever. Coop, making it weird, making it weird. And Spruce will be over there just eating hay. Won't, yep. won't even slow down. Hey, dude. Hey. <laughs> Shannon went to put the birds up last night, and she did pretty well with 10 guineas and three turkeys but we have 11 guineas yeah i definitely failed to get one up Although, and then we forgot about it to her credit this silly gray guinea they don't have names i ain't doing it but that gray guinea does not want to go up at night i have Ever. thrown a stick at that guy i have chased him i've had nala out here trying to corral him i don't know what his problem is he goes around the door every time man those birds ready to eat yeah, how old are meat birds supposed to be before? I think whatever you uh, okay. are. Well, the Bastinas are most sociable, most domesticated. She's the sweetest. I mean, you got the big turks to even go back in there and uh, run. Which, again, beard under. <laughs> Probably. They definitely have some attitudes on them. Yeah, for sure. I've never got along with turkeys. Uh, toms. Christina is really sweet. She yeah. will come and lay on the mat up there by the camper and everything. But the boys, man, you come out here at any point in the day and they'll just be beating the car out of each other. <laughs> you know. Because they're competing for attention. I guess so. Just eat one. This is a good one. Look at Luigi like. Yeah, he's <laughs> like heavy. You guys fighting over food I can have or no? I'm gonna poke each other's eyes out. The worst boxing match I've ever seen. Yeah. Why? Why Look, are the others here? are like cheering him on. I think we're gonna pay $100 to his fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, that doesn't look good. Now, was that one of them that was out? It that, could have been. That may be the problem. Could be. Just missed him so much. Yeah. That was a welcome. Come on, baby. This is literally like the only time they haven't flown down the hill. I do not want guineas. You don't want to listen to that all the time? <laughs> no. Why are you guys so hacked off? Yeah, he's almost completely white. The other one. Oh, yeah. Like, Breathe. Oh, here we go. That's a bad mosquito. He'll get him by the neck and hold him down. Oh. <laughs> I think we're gonna have a fight right here. I think everybody wants to fight this morning. Hey, 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 hey. Sometimes you can get them to see themselves. <laughs> and they'll get mad. I don't think he needs any help. Yeah, he's pretty mad. Look at his little baby beard. <laughs> That's his problem. He's got a baby beard. They both do. Look at these two. Three. Yeah, the guineas, 
They fight in numbers. Why are we so angry today? Gotta be on the You don't want anything to do with it, do you? Well, it's crazy, isn't it, how fast things change when you do stuff and place buildings and... Yeah. Yeah. And when you got the brush hog, took all that mess down over there. Oh, man. That thing has been a huge blessing. I think Blue is uh, smelling her sister on your truck. Uh-oh. <laughs> She's got horns. Oreo doesn't. <laughs> That's true. Blue! No scratchy, scratchy. Bluesy, what are you doing, girl? Blue! No scratchy, scratchy. Ah. Man, she's definitely Oreo's sister. Oh, yeah. Are you hungry? Oh, no, okay. Here you go. Harry and Kika. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> this is the best goat you got on the farm right here. Yeah. Honestly, she really is. Yep. Hops out, eats grass, takes her kid with her. Yep. Spruce had cockaburs all over him. You guys have any of those poke berries? Those purple berries on the milkweed looking stuff? Does it stain? Yeah. We got a little bit over there. Ours found it, not sure where, but like every single one of them. Every animal we got on that stinking farm yesterday came up to eat. Last night I fed them so Ray's mom could see them up close. They're all like, Look like you've been munching on blackberry pie all day. Like, <laughs> even Tipsy had a big old streak because they walk through and those berries break and it just stains them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think Ouija's had it on his face a few times. These guys, these are pretty good. I'm gonna take this one home. He's awesome. He's man. so sweet. He's like all the good parts of blue mm -hmm. plus the socialized part. Yeah. He's a good boy. That's my zipper. He was mad at us for two days after he got the band, him and Harry both. But then they calmed back down and wanted attention. I've been mad at you a lot longer than that. I know. <laughs> That's how I know it doesn't hurt him that bad, because, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be over that in two days. Larry and Harry will actually still try to nurse Blue. They're, they're over three months old. Like, she's done with it. But when they take a shot at her, I mean, it's... Spruce, get that whole vine, buddy. Yeah, eat the whole thing. Break it off of there. Working on it. <laughs> so that, that cat call will make him gobble. Really? Yeah. Herc got out of timeout. It wasn't a mistake on my part thinking that that gate was closed and he just ran out. <laughs> it was Uncle Chad's fault. Well, thanks for coming by, dude. Absolutely. You want to take some guineas with you? No. You want to take a turkey or two? I'll take a turkey. We may be bringing a turkey to you soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We can set up a day if you want to just breast one out. We can. I would love. Well, let's just plan on it when it gets closer to whenever. And How big do you want him to be? That's pretty good size. You're just breasting them out. Okay. But, well, it'll give you a good idea too, because people are going to say we might be wasting meat if we don't feather them and plug them, but they came from Atwoods. Yeah. yeah. I don't, you don't know what you're getting when you buy it. Those are locally bought. You never know Atwoods, the manager, they're great. They just, hey, somebody sells us, are those Royals? What are those, Palms? Or broad, just white, broad breasted. White, broad breasted, yep. So, but yeah. The manager at out was they don't really always know what they're getting, so there may not be much meat there. But if we breast one out, we can tell. Okay, so I'm down, but I think you're gonna have to eat one of them pretty quick because they're fighting, yeah, they're fighting a lot. And Christina's calling them out. Get it, Spruce. Yeah, that's trash, buddy. It's not even food. It's 
spruce. Really? Yep, you figured it out. You're smarter than I gave you credit for. <laughs> See his face? He just kept going, didn't he? Come here, buddy. Dude, dude, dude. There's a feed sack in there. That's what he wanted. <laughs> I know there's nothing in it. I just poured it all out. All right. Okay. We'll roll back to Oklahoma. Okay. Thanks Love for stopping guys. by. See you, man. Absolutely. Oh, you're my favorite alpha gal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your only alpha gal. Okay. That's true. You're my only alpha gal. Tell Ray we said hey and the boys. I will. Thanks for coming by. Yeah. Can you let the birds hang out with you today? He's like, no, shut him up. I think it's a matter of who will run from him. Oh, 100%. Yeah, he's looking for a game. <laughs> he's going to kill him. <laughs> Come Thank you. Good job, Hercules. We've never had this many birds in the pen. Ever. Especially the two big turds. That's a good boy, Herc. Does one of you please take off? Yeah, now see the turkey stands up for him. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it, turk. This is about to get ugly. I told you to take an eye for it. Gets out, won't come back. Put guineas in his pen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look. Uh oh, Christina. Come here, Christina. Come on, honey. I like her because she's quiet. Yep. Let's get a little worked up there, buddy. That turkey and guinea chasing is hard work, isn't it? He's not spoiled or anything. Is it all three of you in there? Oh, it sure is. It's gotta be. Yep. They're trying to block the sound of the birds. I am too. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little tired of them today. Well, it's something about when Uncle Chad comes over. Herc was a little extra hyper. The birds were way out of sorts. I'm sure you can still hear them. They have uh, not yeah. been quiet since the moment we let them out. They have not shut up. But hopefully now that he's heading down the driveway, they'll be quiet. Oh so my gosh, the... look. Huh? He gets right down the driveway and they all be quiet. Huh. 
They got something out for Chad. That's funny. That's really funny. Well, this is a very impromptu surprise visit, and I'm not gonna lie, for the week we've had, it was a very welcome visit. And it's always fun to have Big Brother come out. Plus, the guy has some experience with stuff like this. It was all his first time at one point in time, so it makes me feel a little bit better about uh, our track record here. Yeah. And it makes me ready to eat one of the turkeys because they're, they're getting out of line. And, <laughs> yeah. Boy. I hadn't seen him fight yet. Everybody's worn out now. That was exhausting, wasn't it? I'm so tired, Larry. Just be my pillow, buddy. They That's so adorable. Sweet. Look, you can see it in Blue's eyes. She's even tired. Oh, they're all three passed out. I think Mama and the boys are down in Herc's house, aren't they? Yep. Well, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get your sprayer back out and see if I can't finish the other two sides on that. Since we had rain the last couple days, I've been held off. That'd be great. I really want to get, and you guys know what's coming, I really want to get power to the Shaw office, to Shannon's office. Truth be told, went to the local electrical supply store where we bought all of our stuff for the camper electrical runs and everything. And you guys know me, I'm doing a lot of research because I'm not an electrician. I've never done this stuff before besides what we've done on this land. But I do know how to look things up and I know the attributes of cables and whatnot. And I have a guy that works at the local store that I really like. He's a big nerd, just like me, only his is so much about electrical stuff. I can just spit everything out that I'm trying to do, how far I'm trying to run it. You know, is this gauge gonna work, blah, blah, blah. And he confirmed everything. But then I asked for a quote for the cable and it came in literally three times over what I can order it online. Same brand, same cable, direct burial, 110 feet of it. And I always want to support local. I really do. But if local's not going to support me, then I got to do the right thing, which is order it online at a third of the cost. So I did that. Uh, unfortunately, that means I got to wait just a little bit longer before that cable comes in. But I did finish both ends of the trench so I can come straight down off the pole, the main panel, and go ahead and get the panel installed in the shed so that as soon as I have that cable, we're ready to go. So that's coming. Just wanted to give you a quick update on that. Otherwise, it's just an animal hangout day. It's beautiful out here. College football's on. Enjoy that. I told him that I wasn't mad at him anymore, but we can't be attacking any goatlets. Well, he's, uh, I don't know that he's completely over it yet. It's the only thing. So when your goatlets are intact, they eventually start to alter the pecking order. As attempt they to. Attempt to. Yeah. And you don't do that with Herc. And I remember when he was teaching Larry and Harry that, they were a little rambunctious, but these guys, little Mario's, the Mario Brothers, I know, Bubba, you're hot. Uh -huh. They're doing it, and they're doing it to the wrong animal. That's Mr. Herc. And so Herc's got, yeah, here we go. Oh, no! <laughs> Silly boy. Got me all wet, man. Soaking, oh yeah. All right, guys, well, we're going to enjoy this beautiful weather. I'm hopeful to get to work on my shed a little bit today, see if I can't get the rest of that intentionally rustic color on around the whole thing. That'd be great. I think now that you have figured the sprayer out, it'll go a little bit smoother. Yes. It'll be fine. Yeah. No, it's it's my artistic approach. I, I totally have done it all by design. <laughs> yeah. No, but we have gotten a lot of positive comments about it. You guys like it. And I'll be real honest, it's growing on me. I'm starting to love it. Either way, it's protected from the elements better and it's gonna match Shannon's shoppers. Yeah, and then I just need you to come down here and spray these buildings. No big deal. No big deal, yeah. I'll just get, get on a roll yeah, and just, spray everything. Just, I'm gonna go to town, sounds good. Thank you. Well guys, we love and appreciate you. I hope you enjoy these videos of the animals and Chad's visit to the farm. Always fun to have any of the family over, uh, but especially Chad, seeing as how his journey is very similar to ours. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. All right guys. We love and appreciate you, and as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Come on. Come on. How comes I'm in prison when Kirk is the one being bad? Why I in here? Well, you want to stay in here and hang out with him, don't oh, you? That's true. I just want to throw a fit about it. Kirk, <laughs> get out of my house. Can't let me give any goats any attention, can you, buddy?